A veritable scene of destruction the last time here in Cleveland as the Marlies and the Monsters racked up 200 minutes in penalties, then went out the next afternoon and racked up almost 150 more. Rough style of game, doesn't phase the Marlies. Well, you know, it's like you look at the lineup of the bodies we have and the type of players we have, they're physical guys. They're, they're some of the fighters, some are pluggers, and they're in fourth line type hockey players. So yeah, I'm sure there's going to be some hitting and uh, there's some stuff uh, rolling over from the uh, last couple of episodes. But, you know, we're here to try to get two points and uh, even uh, make our gap a little bigger in, the, in our uh, division. You know, they're a spirited team and they play hard and, uh, you know, that obviously showed up in the last time we played them uh, here in Cleveland. So we expect more of the same tonight, probably. What do you do when you get into a game like that where obviously no rhythm can actually be established, or it seems like it? Is there a rhythm to the way it played out last time? Uh, yeah, it was tough with all the penalties and you know all the fights and players getting thrown out. It was it was tough to stay to our game plan, and um, you know we really didn't show the way we could play till late in the third, and then it was kind of a little too late. But uh, yeah, those games are tough to develop rhythm. So hopefully tonight we can uh, you know stay to the box a little more and have a little more rhythm. Well, we have a we have a good character group of guys, and you know we're not done. We know what kind of team they are, but uh, you know we're going to prepare like it's any other game. But you know, if push comes to shove, you know we're we're a team that you know can back it up too. Tyler Biggs battling for a spot in the lineup against so many veterans finds himself at the center position on the fourth line tonight. When it's about making the most of your opportunities, I think right now, like you said, we have a lot of veterans, and um, for a young guy, I think you know when you get your shot, you just got to make the most of it. Two games on the weekend for the Marlies, Saturday afternoon against the Milwaukee Admirals at the Rico Coliseum, and then back at the Rico on Sunday. There's a time change for this game. It was at 3, it is now at 2.30, and that goes against the Abbotsford Heat.